Yes, wait a minute, this the postman. Wait, wait, this the postman. Well, we are here with Hank Garrett, star among of among other things, Three Days of the Condor, one of my favorite movies. You were the uh, postal assassin. I was the mailman. Okay. In fact, that's where the uh, the expression "going postal" came from. <laughs> really? Yeah. Really? Re reviewer saw it. He said, to see Condor and see a mailman going absolutely postal. Oh, I like that. My recollection was, if you had been wearing different shoes, you would have been able to kill Robert Redford. Is that how he spotted you? You had the wrong shoes on. Yeah, it was his idea. Yes. Really? Oh. Those were his shoes. Oh my God! He picked them up and he said, uh, "I said to Sidney Pollack, I got an idea of how we can show the tip off." The shoes. That was very shoes, cool. Yeah. And then you two got into a big fight, right? Oh yes. Because yeah. you wouldn't give back the shoes. <laughs> there was hair pulling. There was scratching. Oh there was God! Everything. Cursing and spitting. <laughs> oh, you wouldn't believe the He's kind of bitch. carrying on. That Robert Redford's a bitch. Well, now how much choreography? How much rehearsal was involved with that? Because I think I've noticed about Hollywood fights, they don't bear any resemblance to real fights. Well, you know? I'm a martial artist. I'm in. Oh, the, you are. I'm in the Karate Hall of Fame. Body's a weapon. <laughs> look, look at that. Hold it. You're Please. in the Karate Hall of Fame? Yeah. Really? Four? Look at that. The man was he's packing some wow, heat, baby. Wow, look at that. I, used to, I was also a pro wrestler. So again, no resemblance <laughs> to reality. You would have stomped Robert Redford's ass into a mud hole, right? Well, uh, yes, except that I was afraid he'd run me over in the middle and luck. No, he's a terrific guy. In fact, I accidentally broke his nose. That's what we're going to say, story. accidentally. Oh. How did, during that fight scene? Yeah. Really? Uh, what happened was, uh, if you recall, he throws a pot of coffee. Right. And it wasn't real coffee. It was some kind of liquid, and it had an acid to make this liquid foam. Okay. Oh. And it was mineral oil. It was all over the floor. Oh. And I said to Bob, don't come in low. And whatever you do, because I'm going to do a simple sweep, I'm just going to take you over my knee. Right. He slipped, face came forward. As I came around, I caught him with my elbow and broke his nose. Nice. I'm just going to focus on the fact that you took Robert Redford over your knee. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be a little visual for me later. Oh, yes. You and Robert Redford. So what are we working on these days, Hank? Uh, well, I've been doing these uh, all over the country, and I raise funds for the disabled vets. Oh, very nice. Very nice. In fact, nice. I only take my cost, and everything else goes to the disabled American veterans. Very cool. So oh. far, I've raised about $40,000. God bless. Very Excellent. Nice. Very nice. Uh, now, you were telling me a story about when you had received an award. <laughs> I was... <laughs> and you were doing an interview. I was getting the New York Film Critics Award for Condor, and it was in New York, and it was on the street, and location and a couple of friends came over and they can I say oh, what go ahead said? yes we're on cable oh okay they said holy shit Hank's getting a fucking award <laughs> not on you believe this shit <laughs> and I'm saying uh Angie I'm telling you <laughs> wah wah I said uh, giving me an award well for what <laughs> I said uh, the three days of the condo three days at the Concord what are you talking about <laughs> Nice. Now, another absolutely true story about these two guys. I grew up with these guys. I'm from Harlem, the streets of Harlem. All right. I did stock, and I was directed by Jose Ferrer doing Of Mice and Men, and I played Lenny. Wow. Jose Ferrer gets me an interview with the Actors Studio. And my two friends said, uh, your mother told us you're going to the Actors Studio. You're going to do that thing that you did? I said, yeah. Can we come? Oh. So I go to Lee Strasberg and I said, Mr. Strasberg, would it be possible for my friends to sit and watch? He says, fine. If they sit in the back and don't make any noise. Oh, God. I said, okay. I do the scene. Strasberg said, is that the way Mr. Ferrer taught you to do the scene? I said, yes. Let me show you how it should be done. Oh. And one of, one of my friends says, hey, what the fuck was wrong with the way he did it? <laughs> We thought it was fucking terrific. Now. I would take those guys with me everywhere I work. Strasburg freezes. And his brother, my other friend says, Hey, what are you, fucking deaf? My brother's talking to you. Oh, my God. Strasburg says, uh, Mr. Garrett, would you ask your two hoodlum friends to leave? And would you please go with them? 
I was finished at the actors. Oh, that's oh great. Well, Hank here, I want to thank you for taking a few minutes. Do you have a website or anything? Uh, I do, and it's hankgarrett.net. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, personally, I'm computer illiterate, but I do have a webmaster. Oh, and cool. people can find out about uh, your uh, fundraising for disabled vets and things through that. Absolutely. His uh, webmaster Absolutely. is actually Angie. The, his, his friend, Ange, no, 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 and he'll no. type back, what the fuck do you want, you piece of shit? Well, it's, it's uh, <laughs> fuck you, whoever you are, yes, <laughs> dot, dot com. <laughs>